Uh, I'll start by saying I, I'm really proud of the effort we put forth tonight. Uh, obviously, got off to a, a really slow start, um, and and were able to battle back. They did. They they played a little different different uh, on the defensive end to start the game than they have um, switching some screens, which which is not something that they're, they're typically doing. So that, that caught us a little bit off guard. Um, and then once we settled in against it, I thought our guys did, did a pretty good job for it uh, or against it and, and battled really, really, really well. Um, I, I thought we had a really good defensive effort. The biggest key for us tonight was keeping them off the offensive glass. And, uh, they had five at the half and ended up with seven in the second half, uh, a couple of really big ones. Um, and, uh, you know, I thought that I, I think they're a very good defensive team and, and they make you work for for everything you, you, you get. Um, and with that said, I think there was a lot of open looks out there that that we just didn't knock down. And um, and, and you need to in a game like this, it's it's really hard to win any game at this level and it's it's harder when you shoot 30 percent from the floor and, and and 18 from three and 50 from the foul line so um those are some things that that we're just going to have to to keep working through um i know our guys are battling and um and and gave gave a good effort tonight you know coach it thousands of top defensive team in the league i guess they showed that can you tell me though what you did? What changes you made after that 10-0 run to start the game? What what was effective for us? Yeah, so the the, the way that they usually cover the, the the ball screens is they're really aggressive, they hard hedge, and so we were we were preparing for that coming in, and um, and they went with the switches, and so we we just went to a couple of different looks. Uh, we got Gabe involved in setting some ball screens, which caught him in, in, in some confusion. Uh, we had our bigs kind of uh, flip the angles of screens and um, and try to, to ice it to the rim and, and, and slip to the rim. So um, we just got a little bit more uh, variety to, to attack that coverage uh, a little differently. And, and I thought that when we went to the bench, we got a little bit of a spark from those guys coming in and just, um, just giving us a little bit of a uh, an effort um, that that just helped us get going a little bit. You know, you speak of effort, and you got your your typical effort and results from Trey Moss and Gabe Dorsey tonight. Our two leading scorers have been consistently giving you that all year long. Just comment a little bit about how they just keep coming out and performing. Yeah, I thought that those guys made some they they, they made some things happen for us on the offensive end tonight. Um, obviously, with uh, with, with the way they were playing the ball screens, Trey was able to get in the paint and, and finish around the rim a little bit. And you know, Gabe had Gabe had a number of good looks tonight. Um, I'm not sure that all of them were were, were great ones, but but he's gonna he's gonna take some that aren't great because he can make those too. Um, I don't think he, there was one he took that I didn't like. So um, you know, he ended up with 15 on on not a, not a super efficient night for him, obviously. But uh, he put so much pressure on the defense. He 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 created so many. Opportunities for other guys just just by being out there. Um, Towson's one of the top offensive rebound teams in the country, uh, like you mentioned. But you had 17 offensive rebounds. What does it say about the toughness about your team that you know they can they continue to battle even when things aren't going so well offensively? Yeah, obviously when you're playing a game like this and, and, and missing this many shots, it's it's one of your answers is to go in there and and get some extra possessions. And we were certainly doing that tonight. Uh, I thought Caleb Dorsey was phenomenal on the glass all night. Chase was in there. Mateus was in there. Uh, Ty Hamels. I mean, really, anybody that had the opportunity to go to the offensive glass for us did, and uh, it was a, it, it gave us a chance on, on a night where the, the, obviously the ball wasn't going in for us like we needed to. You know, my last question, Coach. You mentioned them three guys off the bench tonight. It, it's my sense they might have played a few more minutes than is typical for them, and I think that's probably a goal for you, right? You're just trying to you know get those minutes out of those guys. Talk a little bit about how you've seen them come along. Uh, yeah, these guys have been thrown into the fire, given given where we're at, and um, you know we we talked about we got to try to keep them out there a little bit longer because they're doing some good things, and also it it allows the other guys to 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 keep their minutes down a little bit. So um, you know I thought uh, you know Ty does a, such a great job on the defensive end, protecting the rim for us, and he's really good with his ball screen coverage and a good rebounder. Uh, Miles Hicks every time he goes in the game always always pressures the point guard and, and makes it hard for them to get into offense. And Jaden Lamon just keeps getting better and better. And he's out there pressuring the ball. He's getting in the paint. I uh, was able to get to the rim tonight on a you know kind of a late shot clock situation. So those guys are doing some really good things for us. And, um, and we're going to need them to, to 
continue to rely on them here uh, given the numbers we have. Hey, Coach, thanks so much. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate you.